Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Sir Q's. And I'm bringing you guys a uh, demo slash review on a game called World of Tanks. It is on the Xbox Live. I'm not sure if you can still download it. You can check it out. I downloaded it a few days ago. Haven't had a chance to play it. First time I get to play it. But uh, this is just a training mode. It teaches you the basics. Like right here, it tells you you know how to turn, which is uh, the right analog stick. They just teach you the basics on uh, pretty much how to operate the game, which is I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to get into a multiplayer. I did get into a multiplayer, and I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. So here it has you drive to a certain uh, checkpoint. You get there. You know, then it tells you to drive halfway across the map. Get this new checkpoint, and you're while going over there, it pretty much tells you you're a tank. You can run over everything. So once they told me that, I'm like, sweet, because the driving is not as easy as you think. It's a little bit difficult. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it'd be a little bit easier, but it's definitely not. You already take out this tower. Watch this. Wow. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I figured it'd be a little bit easier than it was. It was definitely not that easy. Maybe once you get used to it and stuff like that, it might be. But as of right now, uh, for not playing this game, it was definitely not that easy Looks for like me. You and your crew can handle the basics. So can handle I was able to control the tank. So now it wants me to uh, drive up to this next checkpoint, go through the water, and the water is going to slow me down, ob obviously. And it's going to teach you how to pretty much shoot your gun and stuff. But yeah, I did go check out the online mode. I just played a one quick game. They give you a choice of five different types of tanks. They're small, uh, medium, large, extra large. You know, there's like five different sizes of the tank. The smaller ones are basically just used to scout the other team. When you play online, there's like, I think there's six. Six on six or something like that. And your object is to destroy the other tanks and get to the other, other the enemy's base. So uh, the smaller ones are just pretty much used to scout. They're not really made for uh, battle or any of that stuff. So I mean, they're not really that fun. But I mean, they're a little bit faster. And then like the larger you get to the bigger tanks, the bigger tanks are used more for you know assault and stuff like that, shooting your gun, destroying the other tanks, and like the medium can do a little bit of both. And then you have uh, one in between the small and medium, and one in between the medium and large. But it was definitely fun. Excuse me as I burp up my beer and potato chips. No, I'm not fat. So then it has me drive to this other checkpoint, and it's going to teach me how to, uh, you know, shoot from the side and stuff like that. It basically tells you each tank has a frontal ar uh, armor, so you want to shoot it in the back of the side. So after a few shots here, it tells me to drive up along the side, which I'll do. But for not playing this game and stuff like that, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's free. I enjoyed it. You know, I don't know if I could play it all the time, but if you guys are looking for something that, you know, you want to do and you're bored and stuff like that, I definitely recommend downloading this game, trying it out. I mean, it's something different. I know everybody's kind of bored right now with Call of Duty Ghosts and what other games are out there right now, but I mean, this is this is pretty fun. This tank took forever. I'm like, so here you can see my uh, issues driving. I'm trying to, you know, drive around, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's giving me such a hard time. The auto-aim wasn't really, that's what that little circle is in the middle of the other circle. It's auto-aim. It was not as uh, easy as I thought. And then the other thing I did is I got thought the back of the tank was the front, so I got confused for a minute. So there you see me try to fix that. For some reason, I'm smoking. I have no idea why, if they shot at me or not. But I uh, end up destroying the tank, and it tells me to drive up to the next checkpoint and hide in the bushes because, you know, pretty much like if you hide from enemies, you have a better chance of survival using the trees as camouflage or all that other stuff. So, like, when you play online, it's basically, you know, you don't want to, like, you want to find a good spot to hide, hide there, wait to find the other tanks. If you, you know, if you see them or somebody, one of your teammates scouts them, you know, you can destroy them. If you're out in the middle of the open, you're going to get destroyed. Which is pretty basic. So I'm still trying to drive up there. I'm having a little bit of a hard time, as you can see. Drinking and driving a tank, that's a great idea, right? Yep, 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 yep. Good thing I'm not in the army. So drive up the little hill. Get to the spot, try not to go over the hill. I, For a minute, I thought I was going to. I was like, ooh! 
and uh, pretty much you press the left trigger and you can scope in. It's basically like a, they call it a sniper. And you just pretty much, it tells you the farther you shoot and the tank's moving to try to shoot in front of it. So that's what I'm trying to do. So that's pretty much how this works out. You guys will see after I destroy it, it uh, you know, it says victory. I completed my training. I get the little uh, Xbox achievement. So I might do some more uh, multiplayer, give you guys a shot and see what that looks like. So if you guys like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, show me some comments, whatever you guys want. I, uh, I love to interact with my fans, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hope you like this video. Peace. Concealed yourself and destroyed that long range target. You're ready to roll out. See you on the battlefield.